accept. So I'm going to go ahead and shut off my left hand screen. Oh, ramp V ramp again. Mm, this is a really slow hand for ramp versus ramp. Hopefully, he doesn't have his turn one dork. I'm going to keep it. So this may not be my game here, as it, as it stands, because I've got turn three skirmisher, turn four 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 honey cap is four four honey cap versus ramp is not the greatest, because he's gonna have some big stuff. So we'll see. Hopefully he doesn't have his turn one dork. No, he didn't have it. All right, good. That's already pretty good for me. Turn two chaos key is okay. I have removal for something. Fist if it comes up maybe later. Skirmisher is probably not going to be great in this matchup. I'll probably be signing it out again in game two. Um, he really doesn't match up well against most of the things in my opponent's deck. Okay, this is interesting. He's in blood, so that's already pretty interesting. It's interesting he's playing Sprite too because it's going to be a while before it actually gets its flight plus spell shield. However, it does block Skirmisher pretty uh, effectively, so he probably won't won't attack in. I don't think he will attack in. Ooh, Chlorophyll is the play here for sure. Not Skirmisher. I'd rather just take the one damage because now I can turn three. I can play my Battle Beetle or turn four. It'll be a turn four Battle Beetle, which is really good. So he's really lucky to draw into that. Um, Spell Shielded Battle Beetle is going to be really good because most of his stuff is targeted. His blood, he only has, uh, he's got sweeps he can play. Crash is really good here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Battle Beetle will um, be able to block it though. Sure, I'll take one. Plus I'll have a 6-6 honey cap, which will be pretty good. The turn after I play the battle beetle. So, yep, we'll go ahead and play our battle beetle out here. And that seems pretty good. He's not gonna uh eh, he'll He might be able to get his charge power decently well. Efficiency is pretty good. So he may have pump spells as well, I'm not sure. So have to be wary of that if he decides to attack him with his like rhino by itself. I really can't lose can't afford to lose my battle beetles, uh, only fat creature I have here. Another crash of beasts. Ugh, that's yucky. Right, I know he only has one resource left, so the only thing he has possibly is um okay, so he's just gonna swing with Sprite and that's just fine. So I can play the honey cap and then give Battle Beetle flying and swing through. Let's see here. Howling Brave, a little late on you. So, yeah, we will... Hmm. This depends on if I want to swing or not here. Because I can make a really big honey cap in the next turn if I play the Brave here. So... I think I'll play Sensei. I'll save two resources and we'll just go to his turn. And I'll just kind of be the defender for a, a turn. 7-7 seven, seven honey cap is you know, a little bit better. Ooh, there's a Fist. We can drop him in the next turn too. Unfortunately, I cannot play. I can't play my skirmisher because I need to be able to give the battle beetle flying. So we'll just go ahead and wait here. So I can actually play fist in the next turn, and that's going to be really hard for him to deal with. And I've got decent uh, decent defenses set up now. And if he sweeps, Fist will live through it, so... Command Tower, okay. Interesting choice. Pack Raptor, also an interesting choice. 
Still doesn't outclass my Battle Beetle, though. Attack. Is he going to attack? Two cards in hand. Yeah, I didn't think he would attack there. Okay, so... I actually have enough resources where I can play Fist and I still can put uh, Battle Beetle in the air. Um, I think I hold on to this Wild Shard here. Actually, no, I do want to play it. I want to play it because I can play Honey Cap and it gets really big on the next turn. Play Fist here. And just save the two resources. I got two resources up to give Battle Beetle flying, stop his flyer. I could swing here. I'd rather just not take the damage. Let Fist do all the attacking and Battle Beetle will do all the uh, blocking. So, board stay looks pretty good for me right now. Honeycap's going to be huge, too. Skirmisher, again, is not really doing much in this matchup, so he's going to come out after siding. If he sweeps here, it's really actually pretty bad for him because he won't kill my fist. Induction coil. Interesting choice, I guess. Kind of slow, I'd say. It's just going to let him gain some life, I guess, eventually. His fist is going to start swinging through now. I don't even have to tell him to do it. He'll just do it. He's out of resources. I know he doesn't have a pump spell, so he really has no attack to make here. Yeah. He doesn't have anything big enough to uh, absorb fist every turn. Another wild shard, so... Why not? We'll just go ahead and play a really big honey cap in our second main phase and the skirmisher too. Those don't really affect our combat fist step. We'll let fist do what he does best. He just gets angry. He's so angry. So he'll probably just take the damage for a couple of turns. Sign damage. Second main phase. We'll play a really big nine nine honey cap. Uh, I've got three resources left, plus I can still activate Brave so I can go ahead and play my Skirmisher out, just dump everything on the board. Why not? Because if he plays in Extinction again, he really doesn't have anything good to do here. The The best thing he could do is like Extinction and then play a really big like Honey Cap, but he can't be playing Honey Cap with the two resources like this when he's split resources, so he shouldn't be playing Honey Cap in this deck whatsoever. Really, really big honey cap. That's a, a really big honey cap. Yep. Gain some life back. Induction coil. He can gain life. He can gain five life every, whatever, four turns with that. So I'll probably swing with both the honey cap and the fist here. He might jump off the honey cap. It's a lot of damage. I mean, that's 15 damage every turn. This deck's pretty mean. Right now, it's being pretty mean to him. Uh, no real reason to play this wild shard because uh, I could use it for a wild root dancer. Or I could s throw it away to a uh, whatever it is, the secret lab. So no real reason to use that. If you were to trade like a bunch of guys for this honey cap, I'd be perfectly fine with that. Because then I can just push more damage. I mean, you could trade all his rhinos for it. Yeah, it'll trade a bunch of stuff. So, yeah. Um, doesn't really matter. It's nine damage, so. 
three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it really doesn't matter what order I put them in. Yeah, it clears out his board state pretty decisively there. So that's a nice three for one. That seems pretty good to me. Again, you could extinction or something, or he might have extinction in the deck somewhere. But again, it's, it's not going to really matter with when I've got fist on the on the board. Life siphon for six, so that's okay, I guess. Doesn't really matter that much to me, given the board state. Okay, so I'll go ahead and. He may have a pump spell here, but he has no resources to play it with, so I don't know what he's doing. I see he just forgot. Maybe he forgot, I don't know. I'm not sure what he's doing here. Lots of damage coming through in the next turn. I almost might as well just dump his Rhino and swing away here so that way I can start pumping up my Skirmisher. This is a point of the game where I don't really have to worry about this other stuff. Of course he might have Fist in hand so it's really not wise to do that so the better play is just swing away with um, yeah I'll just I'll wait. I'll wait that seems best. I should have given my Battle Beetle flying here, but I'll swing with him. Let him black block the Battle Beetle if he wants. See if he'll eliminate his own guy this way. He has, still has zero resources. He has no way to pump his guy. If he sing, swings with the Rhino, I'll probably just take the four damage because then I swing in return. So it's not really good, not really advantageous for him to swing here. Because that would be five. That would be eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen, which is lethal. So he really can't even swing in with his Rhino. He's on the back foot now. Not sure why he swung in with his uh, Dandelion Sprite. Maybe he just forgot that I could give my Battle Beetle flying at any point in time. Another Life Siphon. Okay. So he's going to try a Life Siphon the Wind, I guess at this point, so I might actually start playing these wild shards out. If he, if he has a bunch of life siphon in hand, that kind of changes my gameplay. I might chaos key this guy now. I'll take four. Yeah, I'll take four. Could put me in with life siphon range. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. That might have been a misplay there, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm going to Chaos Key is Rhino here. Not a good draw here. If he has life siphon, I pretty much. No, I'm down to one. If he has life siphon. If he has a resource though, if he top decks a resource then I'm in trouble. So let's go ahead and chaos key that guy. I'm gonna go ahead and play a resource here, so that way in the next turn I can play another resource and gain some health. And I'll swing away here. Shouldn't have any haste creatures in his deck or anything with uh, that can swing the turn speed where they can swing the turn they come in, so I should be pretty safe there. So, if he has a resource and a life siphon here, I lose. He might be waiting to see if he can top deck the resource. I'm guessing he has another life siphon in hand. Just life siphon by itself doesn't do enough. Pack Raptor is not going to do enough. He doesn't have it. If he played the Pack Raptor, he doesn't have it. Root Dancer is probably not good enough here. Yeah, that's really not good enough. So I give the Battle Beetle flying in the next turn, and he wins. And I win here. 
And I'll go ahead and play, for good measure, I'll play the Wild Shard to, and gain some life. Oh, another Chaos Key. That's like insult to injury right there. Um, yeah, so I'll play another Chaos Key. Chaos Key is Root Dancer. Let's just show him 1 4. Give this guy flying. Go to my attack step. Kind of a slow hand for me there. So I'm going to go ahead and side my deck. So again, we'll go and look at the sideboard. So there's the deck, and we're going to go down and look at the sideboard. Mono ramp side, select. And we're probably going to do exactly what we did earlier, which was uh, side in a spell shielded battle beetle, side out the uh, skirmisher, and side in another chaos key. And it's probably going to be the play here for removal. Of course, I could go Squirrel Titan. He did seem to have a lot of tiny stuff. Squirrel Titan seems to be okay. Actually, you know what? I'll probably go Battle Beetle Squirrel Titan. That's probably what I'll do here. Just get a little bit bigger. So, oops. Go back. That was the wrong button. All right, let's load deck. Mono ramp. The top. Yep, there it is. Okay, so we'll go ahead and pull out the skirmisher, and um, I'll the uh, secret lab. I'm not sure. I think I might actually need to keep that in. Dandelion sprite versus his dandelion sprite seems okay, but I don't know how much flying I'm going to need. I think that the uh, battle beetle should be good enough, plenty good enough, actually. Yeah, his flying is going to be another dandelion sprite, so. It's going to take time for that thing to do very much chipping away, so we'll go ahead and decide that out. And... Battle Beetle. Okay, I'll make sure that it's socketed correctly. Spell Shield and Spell Shield. That seems good. And the Squirrel Titan. And that seems pretty good. We'll go ahead and save the deck. And go yeah, back. You can't really play like... Uh, whatever you call it, a, um, can't play, ugh, not great, but we'll keep it, Sensei is okay, it should help us get there maybe, kind of get flooded, but we've got enough shards to play most of the big, big drops in our deck, and that's pretty much what we did in the last game, we just kind of took control of the board state. It's interesting that he's playing pack raptors in here as well to me, because they I kind of outclass him with a lot of my cards. Okay, he's got his turn one Howling Brave, so that's really good for him. Oh, I got a turn three Root Dancer. Or actually, it'll be a turn four Root Dancer after I play my Crash of Beasts. Oh, there's a Wild Aura trick. Okay, so I got one of my Trixies. One of the two tricks in the deck. Somebody's poisoned the water hole. Yep, there's his crash. I'll match it with my own crash. No reason to attack in and use this trick, because that would be a two for one in his favor versus that rhino. So. We draw into another crash. Wow. So we are going to play the resource and play our crash here. Next turn, we'll play our root dancer and then buff the beast. Nothing else to do here, really. So, what's what might have ended up as a flood is gone pretty well for us so far. We've top decked uh, spells every turn so far, and that's really good. Really good. Persecuting my Rhino? Yes, I'm guessing. Okay, so I guess I might... Um, mm, that's unfortunate. 
Do I still play Root Dancer here? I think I'm okay if I play Root Dancer here and then buff my Sensei in some way. Maybe I just play more Rhinos. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I top deck here. That'll make up my decision for me. Squirrel Titan. I might as well just play more Rhinos, because the more I draw, the better. He probably has Extinction in this deck, I just haven't seen it yet. This is unfortunate, because I'd, I'd like to be able to buff with the Root Dancer, but I don't think I can here. So, play that here, and I'll yeah, get those two Rhinos out. Which I should have done that in the second main phase, but... Oh well. Swing Sensei, and deal one my one point of damage in return. If he swings with his Rhino, I'll trade Rhinos here, because I'm still plus one Rhino compared to him. Squirrel Titan might be a better buff. So what I can do actually, probably while the Squirrel Titan thing is on the, the stack, if I actually had 10 resources, I could play the Squirrel Titan and play the Wild Aura, and he should deal 6 damage and have a 7 back end. Oh, Persecute another Rhino, okay. And a Pack Raptor. Hmm. I'll take 3 here, actually. Uh, maybe. Yeah, probably. He doesn't want he doesn't want to trade rhinos though because he doesn't have a lot of pump for his stuff like I do. Ooh, there we go. That's for Squirrel Titan in a minute. So we will play this properly and not do what I was just about to do, which was make a giant play mistake and uh, play our root dancer here. He's already used two persecutes, so he very likely he doesn't have any more. For this root dancer, which is kind of unfortunate for him. Um, I kind of don't want to lose a lot of health, so I'm just going to stay on this board state. I think you really can't block. Um, I've got Squirrel Titan coming down anyways. I'd rather just Squirrel Titan and then start swinging. So I have a blocker every turn. I'll wait till next turn to start swinging away. Just go ahead and wait. And the most, mostly there, the reason why is because, of, like, if I drop to like around ten health, he can double life siphon me, and I'm dead. You know, very easily. It can happen very easily. Command tower. That'll help him out a little bit. Thing is, he's not. I mean, the tokens from the it, it, it's good for the token rhinoceroses, but not really for very much else. Still, I can still tight uh, squirrel tighten his rhino here. There's that wonderful, wonderful battle beetle, and rhino gets really huge here. Actually, if I buff the Sensei, I can swing with both. Yeah, that seems pretty good, actually. We'll play the Titan. Kill the Rhino. Attack step. Swing for eight. He can double block the Sensei, but he's not going to want to lose. He shouldn't want to lose his Brave here. He doesn't have enough first strike damage with his Pack Raptor just yet to deal with uh, Sensei by himself. With the, uh, the, the now 3 3 Sensei, thanks to Root Dancer. Yeah, playing those uh, Persecute so early on Rhinos was probably a huge mistake for him. I mean, uh, it's one of those situations where it's like just because I can kill the rhinos doesn't mean that I should. He really needed to save it for this root dancer.
He's not going to want to block with this Root Dancer. It's not really a blocker here either. If he drew, you know, draws more resources, it's going to help out his Pack Raptor, but uh, I don't think he's he has any re resources right now because he's probably played all of them at this point in the game. Chlorophyllia is not really that useful for me to play out here. So I can basically just swing away, and he'll have to block, and I can Wild Aura. I can actually swing with the Wild Root Dancer as well if I wanted to. I don't think I will, though. I'm just going to swing away with the, these, and then I can Wild Aura something on the stack during def uh, defense if he decides to, like, multi-block something. Or, and if he doesn't block, well, he, if he has to block something here, he has to either jump block something or do something here. So he's going to do that. Zero resources. That's chump, 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 basically. And I will. Let's see, that would be overrun for four. I'm already overrunning four. And this would be overrun for. What is that? Two plus two will be four more, so I think I, I like the idea of having a bigger um, Squirrel Titan. He's also blocking in such a way where he has no attacks. I mean, not that he would have an attack anyways, but he really needs an extinction here. It's actually not worth me playing here at this board state because if you had an extinction that's like the only thing that takes care of battle beetle anyway so he needs a top decker resource I'm thinking looks like he's stalled at resources yep all right so he surrendered so good games jolt energy um, yeah uh, I've actually started to try to put together that deck I'll go ahead and pull it up real quick Thank you.